Hi, Dr. Lorenzato again. Now that you're at home, your care should not stop. You've had an episode of congestive heart failure bringing you to the hospital. In this video, I'm going to go through a step-by-step -step process of how you can avoid having another episode. I highly recommend a day-to-day -day plan as a strategy for organization and doing tasks. I recommend a medication box subdivided by days of the week for your medications if you don't already have one. Also one for supplements. Also, please, rec please discuss your supplements with your health practitioner, those that you are taking and those that have been recommended to you. Check and record your weight on a bathroom scale as soon as you get home from the hospital and then daily every morning unless you're having some problems in which twice a day. Most clinicians recommend a restricted sodium diet of 2,000 milligrams of sodium a day or less. To put this in perspective, a teaspoon of table salt contains about 2,400 milligrams of sodium. Foods high in sodium include bacon, sausage, hot dogs, ham, baked and other goods with sodium bicarbonate, many seasonings, soy sauce, most processed foods unless they are explicitly designed to be low in sodium. This includes most things in boxes and packages. Let's review the essentials of management of congestive heart failure. Usually a loop diuretic, such as furosemide, is the mainstay. Occasionally a second diuretic may be added. Nitrates are frequently used, and these may be used instead of diuretics as well. There are multiple underlying causes of congestive heart failure decompensation. Each underlying cause suggests its own strategy to manage best. Many medications may be involved, therefore, it is very important to manage the medications to avoid each of the underlying causes manifesting. I suggest tracking your medications and side effects on a card or paper to know best if there are complications on a daily level. If antibiotics are prescribed, I recommend taking probiotics daily for several weeks. These may be taken not at the same time you take the antibiotics, but two hours away from that time. And they can be of any brand you wish. There is no evidence one brand is better than another. Acidophilus and yogurt with acidophilus return to it is fine. A nutritional plan for balance your needs and tastes is essential. This is best accomplished by having multiple small meals a day with snacks. And healthy foods include oils that can help energize your heart. These are omega-3s and omega-6s. Sources for omega-3s are fatty fish, walnuts, flax seeds, olive and Flaxseed oil as well as canola oil. Omega-6s are in vegetable oils. The vegetable them, themselves are a good source as well as oils used in cooking. Adequate amount of protein is essential. Supplements should be taken with food. A B vitamin complex should be taken daily. L-carnitine, a standard dose of 1,000 per day unless otherwise directed, is also essential. Vitamin D3, 2,000 to 4,000 international units is recommended as an average daily dose. This is found in high energy sunlight of the summer months, and therefore if you're not out in this sunlight, it's recommended to take year-round. Vitamin B12 deficiency can occasionally occur, as this is more common in people who, have taken met, who are taking metformin, or proton pump inhibitors for gas, gastroesophageal reflux or GERD on a regular basis. When to call. Communication is critical. If you develop a fever, chills, or feeling an abrupt onset of illness, that may be something you picked up in the hospital that's infectious particularly, please call. Bowel problems of constipation or diarrhea need to be remedied, please call. If you're missing medications, you may not be able to sustain 
your state of health without medications. These are critical. If you're not sleeping, particularly if you're waking up short of breath, this is an urgent condition. Don't wait for another day. Call that day. Gaining weight more than five pounds since you first came home and weighed yourself on your own scale suggests most likely fluid weight, as fluid weight accumulates rapidly over several days. It takes weeks to accumulate five pounds by adding fat or muscle. Note any swelling in your ankles. If this is normal, that's acceptable. If excessive, please call. Any lightheadedness or near falling or falling is a reason to call. Abrupt onset of nausea, it's essential to call. Chest pain or shortness of breath that is outside the norm is essential. And any tenderness to any prior IV site from your hospital stay that is not resolving on a daily basis needs attention. And please call. So in conclusion, if you can follow the medications, if you can continue to take the medications as we prescribed, if you can follow the diet and avoid the excesses of salt and keep communications open, then I'm secure that we won't have another episode like this bringing you to the hospital.